Reporting from the newsroom in Champaign, I'm Melissa Mahalik, and this is the Daily Illini vidcast for Friday, April 6. The search for the new provost is getting down to the wire. During the last week and a half, the final three candidates for the position came to speak to the university community. They each had 30 minutes to talk about their plans for change at the university and their past experiences that will help them in the position. These public forums are a first for the campus and were Vice President and Chancellor Phyllis Wise's idea. The public can go to the Provost Search website and anonymously submit their comments on each candidate. Faculty and students met last night to discuss creating one combined cultural facility. The Dare to Dream event discussed the feasibility of housing the majority of the cultural centers and gender and ethnic studies programs under one roof. Associate Professor of Latina and Latino Studies Isabel Molina Guzman said the proposed facility will allow the various programs to remain distinct units. Next Thursday, the architecture firm on the project will present their preliminary ideas for the facility. That meeting will be held in the Illini Union from 12.30 to 2 p.m. and is open to the public. The university has seen a significant decrease in crime alerts this semester. In fact, university police have confirmed that the last time a crime alert was sent out was on November 13th. According to their archives, there hasn't been a police report in 2012, compared to the 34 alerts issued in 2010 and 15 in 2011. Captain Skip Frost said, quote, it doesn't mean crimes aren't occurring. We do not report minor crimes to everyone, unquote. For the Daily Illini, I'm Melissa Mahalik, and this has been your Daily Illini vidcast.